Hi guys, Joe Maffey here. Uh, listen, I'm going to do another little drum thing. You guys have seen me do lots of YouTube. Sometimes I'm doing martial arts. Sometimes I'm doing drum stuff. Sometimes I'm doing wilderness things. And this is all an art. So all these things that I do are connected through creativity, which is basically art and being able to improvise. All right, so getting to the chase. What I'm going to do is do a little bit of a tribute to one of my instructors, and his name was Alan Dawson. And Alan was a, a pretty famous drummer. And I was very lucky that I started training with Alan in uh, the early 80s. Okay, so he did this thing called uh, a, a ritual. Uh, basically what it is, it was a warm-up exercise. All right, and it was done with a metronome so that it builds up what we call rudiments or sticking. Develops hand control, coordination, that type of thing. So, in this ritual, there were American rudiments, there were Swiss rudiments, and what Alan called later as innovations. And most people uh, do them on the drums. There's a lot of YouTube people out there banging this thing out. But I want to show a few different uh, ways that you can practice this. And remember, it's just a warm-up. It doesn't mean anything. It's got nothing to do with you know, playing music, it's just repetitive exercises to build up your hands, to build up your sticking, okay? So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get this zeroed in so you can see my hands a little bit better, and I will go over a few things. You won't be able to watch my ugly mug, but uh, you'll be able to see what my hands and my feet are doing, hopefully. And I'll show you what this little exercise is, and how you can take the ritual that Alan did and expand upon it. Uh, that was his goal. Um, to be able to just take these exercises and to be able to play music with them and take them out of the realm of just a warm-up. So I'm going to adjust this camera and hang in there with me. Okay guys, we're back on the kit here now. All right. So this exercise done with a metronome, it can be done on a pad, it can be done with brushes. Uh, as we got further along we did it in brushes because you don't have the bounce. So. Please excuse the sound on this, guys. I'm going to try to do the best I can. Uh, we're not in a studio. We're just in one of my practice rooms. All right? So the ritual, basically, that you can see a lot of people doing it on YouTube, is basically a samba beat. With rudiments on top of it. Like uh, roughs and single drags and things like that. So I'll do a little bit just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So let's just change that kick drum beat for a minute, okay? Just for a sec. So instead of going, let's go. So you can change it. You can even make it almost like a, an African rhythm, like. same thing. Okay? Say a paradiddle. Okay guys, I'm just going to isolate one rudiment, the paradiddle diddle, which is I'm trying to play soft so you can hear me speak. Alright? So how that would be done with the samba is If you wanted to put the accents on it, it would be like this. Or the accent on the first one. Or the accent on the second one. And we can do them on all the drums. So for example, Second one. So 
So what I want to do today, guys, is I just want to change this and give you a few options on that right with the bass drum. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? I'm going to put the one on this tom-tom so you can hear the, the phrasing. Okay, so we're going to start off by putting the bass drum on the very first beat. And when you pick it up, it sounds like this. Okay, now I'm going to put the bass drum on the second beat, which is that. Okay, guys, so it sounds like this. Now we're going to put the bass drum on the, or I can do just one. I want to put them on both of them like this. Sounds like this. And the last one would be, in essence, on the, the doubles or, or. okay guys and that's the right if you add in the tom toms for both of them Put it on the off beat. It gives it that kind of thing. Or you can go. It sounds more like this. Or you can do it on the very last one, which would be. Sound like this. On that samba. See, so when people hear me soloing, uh, I'm using just different paradiddle diddles to make up the sound. So it would sound something like this. And that's your double paradiddle diddle, or I'm sorry, your paradiddle diddle, using some different tom toms, using some different kick drum fails, and um, that's basically what the ritual is to give you to do to be able to have the freedom to just.